Okay, so this is going to be a spicy one really. Quite controversial maybe, I don't know. Well, I'm even a bit worried, look, my hands are shaking. Don't want to upset the Linux community. But I think it's got to be tackled because, let's be honest about it, if you really thought about it, Linux minimalism is a bit of a... The foundations aren't too good, aren't too solid. And uh, I'll show you why. I'll go for it. But first, we need to set the conditions. Now, this this is possibly going to uh, draw some interesting reactions from some people. All two of you who watch my channel, I'm sure you'll have opinions on this. So, well, where do we start? Well, I think the best place to start is what is what is software minimalism let's um let's get up wikipedia now i know people don't like wikipedia they don't trust it but we just need some foundation there's no absolute about this i would say um this is just kind of how i feel about it i just think it's all a bit suspect you know anyway let's just start somewhere because you know how my intros go i will be here forever so oh, i hate reading stuff out it's so boring but let's say minimalism refers to minimalist philosophies and principles in design and use of hardware software minimalism in this sense means designing systems that use the least hardware and software resources possible now this is i think a bit ambiguous and I just want really people to think what they actually think about Linux minimalism, software minimalism. I'm not saying my opinion or my feeling more or less about this is absolute, but just keep that in mind. Designing systems that use the least hardware and software resources available. So just keep this in mind, because I'm gonna go to one of the most, well, maybe famous and infamous um, like repositories or um, means to get what is considered minimal software on particularly on Linux okay and uh, you might have heard of them you might not suckless.org um, well known in the minimalist or uh, well let's just get into it because they make some pretty famous software I've used it it's very good I'm not saying against the quality and who am I to say but it's very good so DWM DWM your window manager D menu which is like FZF which I will get into because FZF is clearly the superior and ST which I mentioned for the terminal simple terminal terminal and yes they've got other tools now they're not necessarily going to make a big claim I would say on minimalism but they do mention it so our philosophy so yes they have a philosophy so that's important we've got to remember this is actually how they're thinking philosophy is about keeping things simple okay i'm not necessarily contradicting this simple minimal and usable we believe this should become the mainstream i'm not going to read all this but i will that's in the first paragraph and that does reference those three things d menu it DWM and ST okay they're probably the most famous you can see all this stuff on YouTube configurations on it okay um, I've got their Wikipedia well, their Wikipedia Wikipedia up here and you know um, and then it kind of also goes into software bloat so we'll just look at software bloat uh, Wikipedia again I'm, I'm sorry um, is there anything interesting to say about software bloat well software bloat is just lots and lots of features that's how i view it um and the suckless people have their philosophy also they make a big thing about source code because you have to compile you can technically get binaries but you have to compile um their software because that's the suckless way that they make a point of why ship binaries we can just compile it not a bad idea but i think in principle you should have a package repository for all your packages and they should 
be compiled through that, which I'm happy for, or a binary as an option. Now, I know unofficially people make binaries of it, and obviously they're just they've just got their files on their feed to compile, so they're not interested in doing it for distribution, so that's fine, as far as I know. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. Either way, I don't care, so you do what you want. Because uh, now it's, we're going to get spicy. Going to get spicy. So, the truth about Linux minimalism. God, I hate that word. I just want you to think about it. I'm not saying I am absolutely right. I am, but... I want you to think about it. So let's just get into this now. So we've, we've kind of set, it's, it's difficult, it's difficult. People have their own opinions, but I just I just see this as how I think about it. And the best way is to show you. Now I would have done this in GIMP, which is the stupidest name ever for a piece of software. I hate that acronym, the Graphical Image Manipulation Program, whatever it's called, and I don't even use it. I use image magic way better. Yeah, you'll see videos on that in the future. So we're gonna do let's let's call it James, okay? This is my kind of setup. Now I don't want to be a hypocrite because technically, yes, I do use X11 graph environment, but this is how I tend to use. So we've got the Linux kernel, okay? The Linux kernel. Is that how you spell kernel? I can't remember. Linux kernel. Whatever. Don't jump down my throat. Linux kernel. And then that's loading up the, uh, what, the TTY? Let's call it the Linux terminal. Okay. Now, that is, in essence, what I use to, what would you say, is that too simplistic? But let's just we'll set we'll set the conditions for suckler software for people who you would assume are Linux minimalists or it appears minimal. And I'm not saying they espouse that, but there are there are some who would you would consider Linux minimalists in their software approach. But just consider what I'm about to get into. So. That's effectively my set. Okay, I do use something called TTYSH. That's my software. I did make that. I wouldn't use it if I were you because I still need to sort out configs on it. And that's like my special source. Okay, that's like my bit of magic I use to make this desktop environment, as far as I'm concerned, a desktop environment with all of the stuff I use. And I can do pretty much everything except for web browsing. So now, here is me if I have to use a web browser. But just look at the above, right? Now look at this. So you've got the TT, uh, TTY. Remember, it's still loading the TTY, so the Linux terminal. Okay. Now we're going to open X11. So all that software, all those thousands of lines of code. Okay. X11, and then all X term. So now we open. We, I use a terminal. That's going to be what opens all my software. So there we go, we're opening X term, okay? Another terminal. Mm -hmm. And then let's say uh, Vim, right? Let's say I'm opening Vim, okay? Uh, is that everything? So, you know, I've got, you know, okay, they're minimal, they're seemingly, seemingly minimal pieces of software. But look where we've gone, f oh. Look where we, uh, what am I doing? I need to learn how to use Linux. Oh, I don't know what's going on here. It's gone a bit weird. Anyway, can't write whatever. Capt. Oh, never use. Never use caps lock. Breaks everything. Oh, I just break. So okay. Even if I had this, so I've got my special source, and then I'm opening them in it. Okay. Now that looks a lot. If I change this to, I'm just going to change. Um. Let's change this to Linux. Kernel, okay. Tty, oh, done it again. Right, done it again. Don't you just love my videos? Just chaos, absolute chaos. Okay, so there we go. Just look at that. So that's um, that's X11, and that is uh, Tty. Okay. So that's my setup, right? And in reality, what I'm using is the web browser. Okay. This is why I use use it web browser. 
Okay. So just looking at that, I've done it again. Stop using capitals, use shift, whatever. So just looking at that, so oh well actually I do use I do use my special source in there as well. So this is more accurate, okay? So just just look here. So okay, say I'm using them as a piece of software or well let's say if I was using a web browser I don't want to say I'm using links whatever I'm using Browse okay this is controversial as it's happened I've used Browse which you can use in the TTY um, what am I doing caps lock stop using caps lock stop using caps lock stop using caps lock okay so um, X11, X11, X or whatever. Okay, so there we go. That's my reality. Now I just want you to think about this. As some famous YouTubers in the Linux community who do things like this. So let's just call them Linux YouTubers. Okay, and some of them sort of talk about minimalism or appear to talk about minimal minimalism. Some are just happen to be, I would say, assumed with with minimalism compared to your Thing, but I, I'm not trying to get at them, but I just want you to think about this. If you're thinking about Linux minimalism, what it really looks like. So you, this is what they're loading, Linux kernel, okay? Yeah, like me. They're getting the TTY, okay, the Linux terminal. Then they're opening X11, yeah? They're not running their um, desktop environment from the TTY. They're just not doing it. Show me who is, very few, okay? And so, all they're using Wayland, all they're using Wayland, okay. They're using Wayland, okay. Um, then, what have we got? What have we got? So, let's just use an example of they're using, uh, say, even they're just using ST. So, remember, simple terminal, ST. Now, here's the thing. Here's the thing. If I'm using um, TTY, as my terminal, I haven't had to load all this stuff, and they're loading ST, and they're making a big thing about, oh, this is a thousand lines of code. Now, I know it's more than just software load. It's, thing is, it's not, it's not, this has been debunked before. Source lines of code does not mean the software's bloated. It does mean certain things. It might be good to, you know, solve errors and bugs and debug and all this kind of thing. And yes, there are things. I don't want to make this video infinite, but I just want to say, you think, all this minimalism, you're opening X11. Of course, it won't work with Wayland. So you, X11 is probably what, hundreds of thousands of lines of code. And then you're loading ST. But you've already loaded hundreds of thousands of lines more of code, a whole graphics driver and that just to run ST. Now, I know the whole point is most people are going to use their graphical environment for the web browser, but they make a big thing about you know complexity of software now how much you shouldn't have to use. I just want you to think about that. I'm not saying they're wrong. I'm just saying maybe their hands are tied, well, our hands are tied with what we have to use. So then you load in your web browser, okay? Right, but I want, I want now, so let's just call that, oh, caps lock, done it again. So let's just call this suckless, yeah? Suckless. So just, rem just, oh, what am I doing? What am I doing? Turn off camera. Right, suckless will change change this. Okay, suckless. Honestly, I I, I don't even preach my own rules. It's such a disaster. Okay, this is this is inferior to suckless. Whatever. <sighs> Terrible. Okay. So, that's, that's quite a lot. Oh, I need to change this. So they're obviously not going to be using X turn, they're going to be using ST, okay? Obviously not going to be using this, but now, obviously my special source is like 3,000 lines of code and it's just a bash script, okay? So don't get too hung up on that. 
But I just want you to think about that. They're making a big thing about minimalist. Now I'm just going to use an example I know of a YouTuber, Linux. Linux YouTuber, right? Linux YouTuber. Who will have their system like this, okay? Linux kernel. Uh, TTY, of course, because that's got a load. That's the Linux terminal. So they're running X11. Now they're using, I don't know, what? What are they using? What are they using? What's their, sh what's their thing? I'm not using X term, are they? Your XVT? Oh, I can't remember now. Anyway, let's just say some terminal. Some terminal, okay? And then they're loading either. Ah, oh, here we go. Then they're loading. This this makes me laugh. Makes me laugh. Now I'm not saying I don't use this, but they use things like um oh, what's it called? Uh names T Mux. T Mux, that's it. T Mux. Then they're using Vim. Okay. With lots of plugins. Now this, you could assume, on the face of it, is a lot. But people wouldn't necessarily think about this. All these things can break. So X11 can break, their terminal could break, Tmux could break, Vim, lots of plugins could break, or the Neo Vim, whatever, who cares. And then, I've seen them use this in videos. Now, okay, they're, comp uh, they're rendering something, or recording and that. Okay, that's fine. But... Their computer's newer than this, right? This ThinkPad, and it is chugging along. It is taking like s tens of seconds to load Vim. You know, you've got all this stuff going on. I'm not literally against it, but I just want you to think about what, therefore, Linux minimalism really looks like. They, on the face of it, they're using a terminal and they're using Vim. Oh, so minimal. But is it? Think about all this stuff. All this stuff. I mean. I just want you to think about it. Anyway, I don't know. What, I don't know what else to say about this. Oh, I hope I've made my point. Put your comments in the, the description. S see what you think about. It. I just want you to think about it. I don't say you have to agree with me. I'm not saying it's ideal. Actually, well, let's see what what is the ideal. Okay. Now say um, ideal. So ideal with a graphical environment. Let's be honest, mate. You need well, ideal for me would be Linux kernel, TTY, frame buffer. Frame buffer is magic. Web browser, because that's what we're really talking about here. People using web browsers, okay? Now, there isn't really a frame buffer web browser, but that would be amazing. If somebody could make that, I would be... It's never going to happen. It's never going to happen. So what's the ideal GUI, graphical user interface? So we've got the Linux kernel, okay? We've got TTY. Then it's gonna load um, Wayland. Let's be honest about it. Wayland's the future, whatever. Then it's probably gonna want, you're probably gonna want to load something like, what is it called, Ghosty? Ghosty, because you have tiling windows. I think it does its own window splits. Correct me if I'm wrong. Ghosty, and then your web browser. Okay, that's still that's still some stuff, but you don't need um whatever. You know what? I've I've have missed some stuff out. I've missed some stuff. There's a lot going on here. So actually, X11 is loading. I do apologise. X11 is loading DW. So Linux, they're loading like DWM or i3. Let's say i3, yeah? i3. Yeah. And then Suckless would be loading um, DWM. Okay. DWM. Sorry, I'm forgetting, all, I'm forgetting the actual window manager, right? And what am I loading? I'm loading um, i3. Okay. So again, look, look at all those things added into there now. Look at all those things. If you made it this far in this video, well done, well done. So look at all that stuff. That's a lot of stuff.
Am I right? Am I right? So what what would what would the ideal be? Well, i3 maybe. i3 maybe. Look, I'm I'm not a fan of i3, but whatever. Maybe DWM, but again, it's not in the whatever. But look how much stuff is going on here. You know, Wayland, i3, Ghosty, web browser. Even that's the ideal, yeah. But look at Suckless, yeah. Your Linux kernel, TTY, X11, DWM, ST, to the get to the web browser, right? That's a lot of stuff. Does that sound like Linux minimalism to you? Does that sound like taking out complexity? Okay, DWM and ST, like a thousand lines of code, maybe more for DWM, I don't know. But I just want you to think about that. Anyway, put what you want in the comments. Maybe nobody cares about these things, but uh, it seems to me a big thing in the community. Um, yeah, yeah, maybe nobody will care about this, maybe somebody will care, I don't know, it'll be interesting to see, anyway, that's it, fake YouTube, like, comment, subscribe, make sure you do that, mm. that's it, I'm out of this, I've had enough, I had enough for one day.